Okay, so now I have sewn those side seams like I showed you down here only to the end of the trim. Don't sew further on both sides. Then what I did, I take it and I turn it to the right side. I don't like to fold too much with the fabric. Sometimes it, it gravels on us. Pull it out. Okay. So I have that. Now I'm going to take the matting and I'm going to place the matting in here. Okay. Place the matting in. Make sure it slides nicely. And if it looks good, I'm happy. You can test it and kind of. I don't have it all the way to the edge because I have not cut the corners yet. But you have to make sure that this looks good. See that I press that under now? See how it kind of folds under now? So that's good. And I want to make sure and check that I didn't catch any of the trim. Sometimes I catch the trim and I'll have to take the stitches out and redo it. But I don't want to have to do that after I put the corners. Okay. It's starting to unravel. I hate to have it go in and out, in and out. Very carefully, we're going to cut the corners. If you cut those threads at all, the corners will come apart, okay? But you need to get rid of that bulk. Just watch the width, see where those stitches are. And make sure you don't clip those stitches. If you clip them, you're gonna, hmm, those corners definitely will come apart. I've done that before. Now that we have that done, now we can turn it back the other way. I know it's a lot of back and forth, but you want to make sure that um, that matting fits in there properly before you clip those corners. Once you clip those corners, uh, it's tricky, okay? You don't want to have to do that, okay? Okay, now we have <coughs> the other piece, right? The <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's the part that we just finished, right? Now we're going to put right sides together. So here's the right side of the fabric. Here's the right side, okay? And we're going to take this little foot piece here. I'm going to line it up to the side. I know it's silly, but I do this twice. <clears throat> Because this piece slips. Okay. Take the other piece. Lay it flat. I don't necessarily do it in this... Um, These steps I do a little different, but I think that when I showed it the other way, people found it too hard to follow. So I'll do it this way. I think it's a little harder to sew, but it's easier to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from here down. And from here down, I always start from the top and go down. So I'll probably, I'm going to do this one this way. And what I do is I put a pin here to know where I have to start. Okay. I'm going to sew from here down to the edge of the blue here. Okay. I'm going to sew this one from here down. Then when I'm done with that, 
I'm going to take this black that I have here. And I'm going to sew it as well. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'll show you. Okay. Because it's a little tricky because you have all this stuff on the inside. Right? you got to move it around and so it's not in your way. Okay. But I like to do each seam separately. Okay. And I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> 